Hey everyone, it's Joe Nazaris here from the Automator EM. Today, we got some really cool stuff, really focused around mostly auto hotkey with ChatGPT. And there's a couple tools that we wrote and then one extension that comes in really handy using it. So, Isaiah, so why don't you go ahead and show the, the first one here? Okay, so I just created two scripts. One of them is the ChatGPT summary. It allows us to, it helps you share the titles of the latest things that you have done in ChatGPT because we we wanted to kind of like uh, help you share ideas on how you're using the tool. So it is very simple. You go to chat GPT, you make sure that the bar is visible here on the left. What you do is you press control G and it would automatically read all the titles on the left bar and just create a quick email this email address here can be configured to somebody else. So part of the idea is that you can set any recipient that you want. And the idea is to have a quick summary of how you have been using chat GPT on the past few days, um, just to get interesting ideas on how you can actually use it. So this is a, a very quick example of uh, using the interface, the UIA interface to grab stuff from the screen. Right. So in this script, if you actually study the script, you learn, you can, you know, possibly learn a little bit about using UIA. Also about using the run command with an email address. The, the one trick is the people have to have like the default client. The default right? client. Yes. That and is correct. If not, it, I mean, it does get copied to your clipboard. So if, if right. it doesn't work for you, just go to an email and paste and it'll have the content. Right. It, you should have the content in, in your clipboard yeah. after you. So if you do not have a default client installed, it doesn't matter. You still have the data there. Now, um, they, the other one that we uh, discussed was the uh, one for creating kind of like little rules for auto hotkey. Uh, for ChatGPT, sorry. So we tell ChatGPT I, how. I thought we we tell ChatGPT that auto hockey rules <laughs> <laughs> as well. But here's the thing: so sometimes when when you tell it to write scripts, there's a few things that she does a little bit. You know, she's getting a little bit creative. So what we do is that we created a hot string, which of course you can change. But this is kind of like a a, a setup. I just tell her that. When she's going to start, she just follows this set of instructions. And after I do that, every single one of the prompts that I create after that, and actually, uh, yeah, she will know that she should follow one of those preferences. Of course, you can change those to anything you like, but this is just a, at least an idea of what you can tell her to go ahead and follow your instructions for every single script she creates. Within that thread. Right. Yes, in that thread. That's the correct. important part about ChatGPT is it's it's really a garbage in, garbage out kind of thing. If if you yeah. don't set the stage and give it some things to say, make sure you do it in this way, it'll take liberty and do it however it wants to. Yeah. And often it makes up its own things and it doesn't actually write the functions. So right. we put in a lot of things that just help kind of instantiate guide it. it. Right, to guide yeah, it. Yeah. Get, get it ready. And this way, when you actually use it to create an auto hockey script, it, it is more likely to give you a working auto hockey script with functions that actually exist. Uh, it's right. not perfect, but it does help. We also did a little testing that you can keep going and going in this one thread. And for the most part, it seems to follow along. So you can have basically an auto hotkey thread, right? You, you yes. can do this once. Now we put it into a hot string, so we can just throw it in whenever we want to or a hot key um, to dump right. it in there. But that yeah. is correct. Now, uh, the last one that I think we is not an auto hotkey uh, script or anything. It is a an extension that I downloaded, if I remember correctly, it was the Share GPT. Here it is, Share GPT, and that extension adds an additional button here, as you can see, that says Share. And what it does is that it grabs that thread, the whole thread and allows you to have kind of like a shareable link that you can go ahead and paste. It, it could be on a, on a different computer to another person and they could see the whole thread. So in, in case that you found, you did something that is really uh, interesting, like, hey, how, how do I use this function or whatever? And you want to share that with somebody else, you do not have to copy paste or, you know, you just, hit this share button and you get the whole thread. Everything that you did up to the point that you finished is going to be in the thread. 
and it is really it, it keeps the formatting so it's really easy to follow so that was the other one that we wanted to kind of like share yeah so uh let us know if you found these useful and how you're using chat gpt if you want to comment below uh, if you learned something here please like the video it really helps us out and uh yeah we're we're still hitting it hard with chat gpt we've got it where we're uploading files into our own environment that'll be the next real big aha is where we've so when you do this you are in this thread te teaching customizing chat gpt it's learning this is what i want with this thread but once that thread ends it goes away right right as soon as you start a new thread then it is kind of like reset completely so you can go back to that thread don't get me wrong and it'll yeah. still have that but the point being like it's it's kind of a stale thing now we're uploading into our own environment and uploading files and doing stuff that'll be our environment that doesn't just go away and it'll keep learning and stuff so we're hoping to be able to really train it better on auto hotkey and have something that's you know even better than it does chat gpt does amazing stuff with auto hotkey for for one from um, language it's not really that popular it's pretty impressive that it's writing code as close as it gets honestly yeah, that is correct thanks everyone um talk to you soon cheers bye